Hello YouTubers, it's Keanu Dave again and welcome to, I believe, episode 7 of the Steam Train Stories Review and this time it's on the uh, classic uh, series Dalek set, set 1. So basically, after the classic series Wave 1 set was selling very well, Character Options decided to lease the first three uh, classic series Daleks based off uh, Three popular Dalek stories, and that of course would be from the Daleks, uh, Planet of the Daleks, and Genesis of the Daleks. So we're going to start with the ever first uh, 60s monster that was released in the range, and that of course was the Dead Planet Dalek. Now, as you know, I kind of like like it. It's pretty unique. It, it looks really on really spot on to how it looked like uh, during their debut into the show. The gun's uh, pretty nice. It's got that nice feel to it. Plunger's alright. They've got the blue spears. Iconically, that's what the, the spears were, what colour the spears were in real life. The eye stalk's pretty cool and they got the white dot to resemble what they looked like back in the, uh, like, uh, si back in the 60s era of the show. It's got like that, these nice silver rails around it. So yeah, and they've done a nice job on the on the light. So yeah, I don't want to go into articulation because a lot of fans have done this before. This is just an nostalgic review, and yeah, it goes round, backwards, forwards. It's like it's friction driven. So yeah, it's got the fr it's free wheel base, just like a free wheel car. Don't know what they call them. And now we'll head into, like, sort of like the other Dalek, which I love the most. And that, of course, it is the uh, Supreme Dalek Council. Well, what to say, I actually kind of like, I love this this design of the Dalek. So there's a, behind, a history behind this. Uh, basically, they reused the gold, uh, one of the, the gold Dalek from the Peter Cushing movie, the Dalek Invasion of Earth. Uh, movie. So yeah, this looks pretty unique. Uh, it made its debut in Planet of the Daleks. And so, yeah, it was like the Supreme Dalek Council, and then it had a really bad temper, and every time it lost its temper, it would kill one of the sold, one of the Daleks, and I really like it. It's pretty a unique, unique Dalek. Uh, and it's probably like one of the most iconic, uh, designs for, for the Supreme Dalek in history, and it's got like the uh, unlike any other, like the ordinary Daleks, it has like the light thing that splashes up and down on the front part of its eye stalk. So yeah, that's pretty interesting, unique. Uh, it's got, it's like black, it's gold on its spears, it slouches, its head and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty unique Dalek. And I gotta say, probably, uh, one of my, uh, favorite, uh, uh Designs for a Supreme Dalek and one of my favorite classic series Dalek figures. So yeah, that's a Supreme Dalek And now we head into like the most iconic design for the Daleks the sort of like the 1970s uh, Dalek or Genesis Dalek from based off the 1975 story with Tom Baker Genesis of the Daleks, which was Acts like the origin to help how the Daleks became to be, and it was the introduction to the creator of the Daleks, Davros. So yeah, it's a pretty unique figure. Uh, the uh, the gun is like a more of an metallic brown. Uh, the eye stalk's got that like a uh, black pipple in the middle of its eye stalk, just to give it like for that era. The spears are more of a black color and. It's a very glossy, glossy dark grey colour. Despite this, this Dalek was re-released uh, multiple times uh, in Soundwave, uh, in a Soundwave, as a sound, talking Soundwave Dalek uh, in both Genesis and Planet of the Daleks, and the, and uh, like a Genesis Dalek box set, which featured the fourth Doctor with a brown trench coat, and and the Genesis Davros, forgot what the actor's name again. And uh, the plunge is pretty nice. What to say, I kind of like it. 
and it's got like that silver spot thing in the center line of the plunger so yeah pretty unique dalek and and with most classic series fans they see this as like the most classics the most iconic design in the classic series for the dalek so here we go so yeah i so overall what do i think of this set yes it's still good to this year and what a way what a way to for, for character options to release a classic to release their foot an idea for their first classic series Daleks. So, later now, and I shall see you for another year. Who knows what it will be? Maybe another train model, car model, maybe another Doctor Who figure, maybe even Star Wars figures. Who knows? Who knows? So, later now, and bye. Enough for This is Keanu Dave, signing off.